Parental guidance is advised. Candio show. Melvin. 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 The Melvin series is coming soon. Don't miss it. Subscribe to the Candio show YouTube or AO Conseco Patreon. His fate was sealed. His fate was sealed by a nothing ass bitch. Because you know, you see the kids going down there, the kids, you know, screaming and stuff like that. You got the fine bitch, the ugly bitch, that's fine. She going down there. And that is a thing, a, a ugly fine bitch. That's definitely a thing. Shout out to Blackbeard for letting me know that, Gavin. Look, kids, nothing ass bitches going down there, smokers. And this bitch then told you, you know you need to get down there. And the fucked up part about it is she's telling the truth. She's telling the truth. She's not playing. It's not a joke. She's dead fucking serious and she's right. If you went down there, you could buy, you wouldn't have to drink the Bud Ice, the Keystone, the Natural Ice. You could drink a Heineken, get you a big Corona. You wouldn't have to smoke the goddamn checkers, the L and M's, longs. You know what I'm saying? The fuck is that? That red, that 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 green pack of cigarettes. What's that green pack? Of, what's that green pack of uh, cigarette? Paul Malls! Paul Mall! Yeah. Paul Mall. Motherfucker smoking Paul Mall. Nigga, now you can go get you some Newports shorts. You know what I'm saying? Like a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you're from Louisiana, get you a pack of Cools. But your pride and 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 who you are who people will think that you are the public perception you can't go down there and pick up he's throwing 50s and hundreds on the ground while doing donuts if you can just go over there and get two of them you will be straight but you can't even do it you take that action and I, I want y'all to see both sides of the spectrum the rapper sees that as him giving back showing love flexing you know what I'm saying he's giving back to the community but Melvin looks at that as a direct affront to him and his manhood Candio show the Melvin series is coming soon don't miss it Subscribe now to the Ken Dio Show YouTube. It's going to be crazy. Hey, it's Ken Dio. Like, comment, subscribe, share. It's cool. God keep me out the way of these niggas Caught my pistol, told my granny for to pray for a nigga You can't call that boy your brother cause you ain't with a nigga When you start to get some money, see the hate in the nigga Uh, oh yeah, she, she a depressed motherfucker. She, she calling her daughter like, man, call one of them motherfuckers, tell her to pray for weed. Real talk. Like them, them, them bitches really will stick their daughter on niggas. Like 
That's the one you need to be fucking. That motherfucker Real got that goddamn. See, y'all bitches don't know. Three men convicted of home invasion will likely never walk outside of prison again. Judge Mark Stoner is a no-nonsense judge who told the suspects in court today the way they treated the family was uncalled for. That nigga there couldn't even hide his sweetness with the newscaster voice. He the decisions. Prosecutors say in 2013, the trio forced their way into Nowak's home, beat and threatened his family, forced them to the ATM, stole their electronics, and made off with the family vehicles, something the victims say no other family should ever experience. Judge Mark Stoner ordered Adrian Anthony and Michael Pugh to both serve 88 years each at the Department of Corrections. Their co-defendant, Taiwan Lundy, will do 72 years. Prosecutors pushed for a sentence that would guarantee the trio would never commit the same crime again. But it went on for hours. I mean, what these two individuals, Mr. Nowak and his wife, uh, Brittany, is, is just unfathomable. Although tried and sentenced together, the judge wants the trio separated in prison, saying they are less likely to be a danger behind bars, a danger their victims no longer fear. For sentencing, wanting the judge to know the nightmare they now live. This walk to court is one of the last for three men convicted in a violent 2013 home invasion. In court. Mm -hmm. Well, that look there. All of you little niggas who know that you not like that. And the way that you know that you not like that is if you are going to be looking this way, this face, this type of confusion is what you gonna be going through and you not gonna be bouncing and bopping like the other nigga or the other nigga in the back who didn't give a fuck either way that shit ain't for you my nigga take your ass to school fuck them bitches because you niggas is trying to be cool for the hoes you don't understand you don't understand that as soon as you get your time, that phone, all, that whole relationship is over with, my nigga. You just don't believe it because you ain't went through it yet. My nigga, you a good kid, my nigga. You came from a good family. Them motherfuckers don't have no fucking home or no family. These motherfuckers don't get, this is their motherfucking destiny. Is to be nothing ass niggas. You was a good kid and you just wanted to, you know, be cool for the bitches and have some hoes and shit like that. Now you gotta bring 20 to the door before you have any conversation. And all of that shit is about to be fucked over. You know what I'm saying? Like all of that shit gonna be fucked over once they bust y'all up. As far as break y'all from one place to the next one, niggas is gonna fuck over you, my nigga. Niggas is gonna fuck over you, my nigga. You not like that. You you don't like to fight. You don't like nothing like that, my nigga. Take your motherfucking ass to school. Or you be confused like this nigga. But ho, you don't understand. Like you going to the projects and going to the apartments and shit like that, because that's where all the, you know what I'm saying? Them street niggas who have been street niggas since they've been like 10 years old. You know what I'm saying? And they they having to convince motherfuckers that, oh, no, nah, he cool. That's my homeboy. My nigga. My nigga, that's not where you going to want to be. I'm trying to tell you what's going to happen to you, my nigga. Ooh, I hope somebody catch you before they get you up there, my nigga. They going to do something crazy to you, man. And another thing is, when you look at when they leave out the courtroom, first, before I do that one, as they're walking into the courtroom, you still trying to put on for niggas. The fact that y'all got on different colors, that say it all. The fact that you go into court with a motherfucking bill fold with a fucking folder that say it all you know what I'm saying like my nigga you not this not where you supposed to be at my nigga but these little kids that got you to go in a house with a family and put them in a car 
take them out. music before but it's like you're not you're able to say okay i'm not beefing with x y and z but then you come out and you beef and you dropping you know you're smoking this pack you're smoking this pack you pushing that but you're able to side with a white boy at a martin luther king fest like i i don't i don't get it like does def jam not have enough influence on you to denounce it in the hood like does def jam have more power now than O Block did to you. If you ask me, yeah. Uh, whatever the label says, it seems like at this particular point, you have to do. Like, have they just stripped you of your power? Are you just dirt and somebody that's pushing our face that, or the young generation's face, and for the uh, older cats that, you know, maybe still idolizing uh, entertainers, you know, teachers on them that, but it's like, Damn, bro, you couldn't really denounce that with Duck, and he's still been here. You couldn't have. Candio show. She do it. She called a nigga, let him know, you know what I'm saying? I got somebody want to buy a house, uh, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. He tell her the number and shit like that. So, they set the shit up. The nigga pulled the nigga into the hood, not at Granite Spot, but at the next street over. You know what I'm saying? And. At this point, we don't know nothing what's going on. You know what I'm saying? We, we just doing our regular shit. We posted in the trap. You know what I'm saying? And we doing us. So, he ended up catching a nigga. He ended up getting the, getting the shit in his hand. And goddamn, I guess he, he pulled the old one two pump fake on him like, oh yeah, this shit right here looks straight, goddamn. Let me, uh, man, let me go see if my partner want to go half on him, bro. It's right there, right through there. You know what I'm saying? I'll come right back. So the nigga was green enough to let him do it. So he hop out the car, he come through the cut, and he gone. You know what I'm saying? He gone. So we sitting in the trap. This where we come in. We sitting in the trap. We see blood come running through the trail past the window. He stopped like, hey, why I just hit a play for a whole zip, nigga? You know what I'm saying? And he keep running. He keep running this shit. So goddamn... We don't make too much fuss about it. Like, no, nigga gonna hit him a lick. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I got to holler at him later on and give me some of that or whatever. So he go on, you know what I'm talking about? And he keep going like, bro, I'm gonna get with y'all in a minute, bro. I gotta get on down right now. So he go ahead and, and slide out and handle his business and shit. And he gone. So about 10, 15 minutes later, my grandma, my old man, he out in the yard raking the lead, playing in the garden and shit like that. You know what old schools be on. And a car pull up. Car pull up. Two niggas hop out. One nigga stay at the car. They don't pull all the way in the driveway. They stay down there like at the bottom of it and park. And then one nigga. Court went ball to nine. If you can't make something out of nothing, then no, you ain't my kind. Bitch, you can't be talking to me crazy. I ain't just anybody. Wow. Set up shop wherever I stop at. Been serving anybody. Sir. Take them to a different county. Remix them on anybody. Sir. Nigga, let that money hit my hand. You can forget about so. it. Trap smell like dope. You can smell this shit from up the road. Nigga asked me, can he test the pack? I'm finna up the pole. Yeah. I was thinking, little buddy was savage till he up and told. Damn. Then he hit me up trying to get bowls. I hung up the, the phone. phone. Now I gotta stop using this phone. On, niggas on the boat Discipline myself to not smoke when I be on the road I was giving smoke sex to old heads for hydros People getting offended from the weed smoke on my clothes Niggas show they hand with all that hate and I be moving different I might show some racks for motivation, I be moving it Big walk, tote, big 
chop, don't get dropped. Yeah, I'm still acting with the bag. You can still shop. Big wop, toe, big chop, don't get dropped. Yeah, I'm still acting with the bag. You can still shop. Police hit the light, stop by a trail before you let me out. I can't have no nigga do no work. I feel it let me down. Don't ever ask me to do no shit that you wouldn't do for me. But he hit a lick on 30 P's and brought it all to me. I can see right through a lot, so bitch, don't try to tell me now. I'm behind Arby's in the charger, dropping 50 Zans. I ran out of pills and started serving mama's medication. Ambience was fucking niggas up, had them hallucinate. Make her eat that dick, she in here drinking all my pre cum. Nigga wanna smoke it out with me, better have three lungs. Big wop, toe, big chop, don't get dropped. Yeah, I'm still acting with the bag, you can still shop. Like it get a little meaner each time, don't it, huh? <laughs> Real spit. Let the Eskimos speak. It goes sinister, sinister, minister, minister. With his third eye watching the show from the beginning, it's the end of an era, the dawn of an age. Of a query, spirit, the truth to be saved. Did you ever think you would see so many slaves? Tell that. Dollar sign on them to make them behave, CB. They need us to settle for minimum wage. Get on some pot call in the kettle black shit to stay paid. Damn it. I'm mad as the average, mad as the masses. Crabs in the bucket, let's tip it and tuck it, bag it and bag it. The whole bucket, fuck it, they're killing each other. Keep passion, then let's take the way of fetter. They bitches to show compassion. Make sure that all our power's on top and it's everlasting. Just pass that generation of wealth down and keep passing till we have no more resources left round. And then get apt to mean it. Cloud of days in the future, that's weather forecasting for that ass. If we don't get up off that ass and make some progress with that movement and investments with that stash. And if you ain't got you no stash, what you been doing with your work? And if you ain't got you no work, how you been measuring your worth, dude? Don't shoot the fifty with me, just tell me the truth. You scared of being on your own as long as she take care of you, it's cake. And if I'm out of bounds, prove me wrong, get me straight, get up your weight. Real players might get in a bind a bin, but won't break. Power up and never stop. It's the hatter coming back at your batter up in the box. Swing. They ain't prepared to better pressure being real brings. Sitting on the sideline, niggas trying to run schemes. Never heard of hard work. I can only blame them. Cause bad apples have seeds too. Don't throw away the stems. Garbage in, garbage out. Social media wins again. Let's go to them Joneses house. Go to what them Joneses about. Do just what them Jones is doing and try to take them Joneses clout. You might even catch a record deal. Cause they got talent scouts. They ran our culture straight in the dirt and brainwashed it. The yes, we can movement ain't work. Pain squashed it. That sounds kind of like an excuse. Cause the painful truth is that we easily distracted and emotionally reactive. So they can use somebody claiming God and Jesus and come wipe us out. Somebody talking nice and know how to please us with the better route. I spit deep shit, deep shit to make you peep shit. This drug use the movement got y'all vibing to some weak shit. Auto tune brought us to the bottom and now y'all underneath it. Real rap move like the ocean and y'all seasick. Some of y'all move the ball, but most of y'all defense. Black speak up and black down, fall is the weakness. Whole world blind, curves real when it's easy. Said them planes brought them builders down perfect and y'all believed it. Wait, why these niggas in dresses again? And how these bitches making money messaging men? Is the only way she can make some money showing some skin? Is everything that makes you money tied to some kind of sin? Hold up. And why the court system strictly for the ladies? And how the fuck she making money making babies? Just a couple questions from the real section. Look, we don't want no problems, we just deal check. I'm the talk shit dean, foul mouth boss. So fuck you in advance if I piss you off. I don't hate whites and I'm not a misogynist. I'm just a call of bullshit ologist. It's the Eskimo Marathon flow. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. And every John Doe that took a stand for the black man. The last thing they want is us to expand the lifespan. Snakes that dap you up and backstab you with the same hand. So keep a close watch before they put a stop to your plan. I'm from the south where the cops and the clan could be the same man. Most of them folks who got caught in them traffic stops ain't stand a chance. Let's keep it a buck. I drop music to take a stand. Yeah, I'm dropping my nuts. Took a glance and I got a 
them pagan and society's fuck. They kept passing around the truth and other words they be dodging. They be dodging. They pausing they be dodging. in the youth, they think they hit, but they hopping. Right. Gucci made a black face and niggas are rocking it. So if you pay for your disrespect off of who are you profiting? Is it your people, your government, or everyone else? Sounding like a sponge, you to be ashamed of yourself Don't try to blame someone else for your type of bullshit My nigga quit, I step on everybody's toes But that was some for nigga shit But the program is scammed us into the nigga that Damn. The nigga this, gotta get a pack, Damn. gotta get rich Pull the trigger quick, never fall in love or trust a bitch And it's convoluted, cause in the jungle that still makes sense Gotta keep it moving with them bundle situation tense It's so consuming and they confusing the minds of great men They keep us grooving and keep us snoozing time and time again And these are tender times, they Views and gender lines, they'll say I commit crimes with anti-agenda rhymes. I'd rather let my light shine and y'all respect my mind than to be a hand-picked balloon for them porcupines trying to blow up. I won't be signed by some masterminds, and so what? Blind, blind ain't how I'm designed. They want you streamlined, worship in the shrine, and that sunken place trying to make you climb. Y'all too corrupt. All I got is my word and my nut. Had a dream, I talked to Easy, he said, boy, that's enough. And I always had the strength to talk to God, cause that's who you trust. It ain't about what you gon' do, it's about how you adjust. So go on and let them haters hate and leave their ass in the dust. It don't matter, you took a break, go ahead and shake off the rust. Go ahead and eat what's on your plate until you done had enough. And ever since I've been awake, I've been on what we discussed, so pay attention. Cause consequences ain't got shit on good prevention. And when it's real game popping, you should listen. Stay in your lane and no hopping and no switching and no flopping and no flipping and no slopping and no slipping. Peep out the new world and see how it plays. What a wonderful creation, Mr. Sinister made. Go ahead and grab a Bible and shoot in the bay. But check your mirror, you in denial, that's how you get played. Cause he hungry. He put in work, he came to get it, he came to get ya. He gon' take everything you bought and you brought with ya. Come for everyone that you fought and who fought with you By telling true lies through a screen with false pictures Stay awake now, nah. it's all hate now nah. Trying to play us like a Kit Kat, give me a break Now they say that dollar fake is about to be a crypto quake Wasn't no crypto drill, so ain't nobody ready for that shake Totalitarian American jelly for your peanut butter You up for brain surgical cuts They manufacture guns as if he ain't murdered enough It's the messianic versus volcanic vertical rush Don't trust mister Don't trust mister, trust mister, trust mister. Trust mister. Trust mister. Trust mister. What's going on? Yeah. Man, when I take this goddamn, when I take this damn screen save off, I'm going to let it be known. When I take this screen save off, moderators, the first bitch coming this motherfucker with that goddamn joking shit, we going on the blocking spree. I don't want to hear no jokes. We ain't doing no jokes. Why ain't it playing? That's the wrong one. All right. We ain't here to talk about some serious shit. I don't want no... Nah, what the fuck, man? Motherfucker said, be a preacher, I be damn. This damn shit too damn. This shit too damn hot. Hold on. Let me get it right, because I already see what we finna get into. I can already feel it. I can already feel where we finna go with this. This bitch right here so damn tight. Where my damn, hold on. I ain't even coming on there, so I got my goddamn. Taylor, what did you do with my damn, uh... I'm gonna have to use the rag. All right, goddammit. All right, goddammit. 
Y'all get y'all shit together in here. Get y'all damn shit together. Y'all damn shit together in this motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, hey there. I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and founder of the Men Too Movement. You may know me from such YouTube videos as The Attempted Murder of DJ Academics, YNW Melly's Mama is a Thought, or The Top Three Rappers That Would Die in 2019. Oh no, I'm not predicting the future or presenting the news today. I actually want to ask you a couple of questions. Are you tired of working your fingers to the bone for pennies on the dollar only to spend every cent of it on your fix? Do you get frustrated at the fact that you can't focus long enough to think of a plan to get you out of your current situation? And lastly, does your significant other not understand why you're so damn pissed off all the time? Well, the moment you've been waiting on is here. The three S's. The three S's is a clinically proven, field tested, non-addictive method which includes sobriety, solitude, and celibacy. When combined, these three actions form a whole new substance called success. Ah yes, success. Not just the words you learn how to spell in the first grade, an actual, tangible goal. So to learn more about the three S's so you can start your new life and throw away your old one, <laughs> click the link below and I'll see you on the other side. Let's get started. You okay? <laughs> And I'm wondering why in the fuck I can't find I was looking for that goddamn white shirt. I couldn't find that bitch. I couldn't find the tie. Nothing. God damn this bitch hot as fuck. Man. Yeah. Coo wee. Fuck this shit. Man. Woo. Yeah, man. Get y'all shit together, man. Get y'all damn shit together. Damn. Why this bitch so thick like this? All right. All right, man. Let's go and get into it. Before we do anything, before we do anything with any type of anything, first thing first. Dog, and where the fuck is my damn tissue at? I'm confused as hell. I don't know. This motherfucker here. Ooh, ooh, shit. I shouldn't have put this. See, that's why you got to learn. See, that's why I should have took advantage of Kevin Samuels when, when I had him on the team. So that nigga could have showed me how the fuck to put a goddamn suit on. Because I, I I feel like I, I'm doing this shit wrong. This shit ain't no way this shit pull me this damn hot like this. God damn. Who shit. This motherfucker here. What is this bitch made of? This bitch must be bulletproof. God damn. Yeah, man, I should I should have listened to that nigga, man. I'm finna die fucking uh thirst in this bitch, man. Hold up. God damn. Y'all go to the damn, go to the damn what you call it, man. Go to the damn uh go to the damn uh the thing. God damn. This bitch feel like a goddamn. Ooh. Hey, shit. Y'all go to change.org right now. Everybody on the live should be at change.org showing they love. Everybody should be at change.org showing they love. God damn. Shit. Man. I see why homeless people had them goddamn suits like that. That motherfucker keep your ass. Nigga, you could survive the coldest winter with that motherfucker. God damn. Shit. Ooh, ooh. Oh, my God damn. Yeah, y'all take y'all ass over there to change.org. I'm giving everybody 
some time to go over there because I need to holler for a minute. I need to holler at y'all for just a second about the shit I'm seeing and I can't believe. Y'all going over there and y'all fit it. Man, I know that nigga ain't take a whole roll of damn tissue paper, though. God damn. You had to take my damn thing. I don't see that motherfucker nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this motherfucker here on this uh on big homie back here. Let big homie get some more. Let him get some more. I do that shit later. I was trying to do the damn. I was trying to do the damn. The uh the second part of the damn what you call it. But 530 hit too damn fast. So I thought I was finna goddamn I wasn't finna do shit in that motherfucker. Everybody should have goddamn. Yeah, hell no, nah, my nigga. Yeah, if I'm gonna be a preacher bit home, I'm gonna do that shit. I'm gonna do it the street way. I'm gonna have to do it the real way. I'm not finna dive no goddamn uh extreme motherfucking uh heat expulsion. That motherfucker, there ain't no motherfucking way. Nigga, I, I'm wondering who the hell I think Brim did that shit. It's probably a white damn, probably a white shirt up under it. It got the damn the purple patch right there. That motherfucker was clean. That bitch was just too hot. Yeah, that bitch got that bitch got Teflon in it. That motherfucker be more most safe than this bitch right here. God damn. But yeah, man. Uh fuck that shit. God shit. Ooh. Ooh. Giving what what type of sermon I'm gonna giving that bitch? A sermon about you know how to give CPR when a bitch run out of fucking liquid out of his body? God damn. Mm. All right, man. All that goddamn shit. All right, so here we go. Yeah, now I, I'm trying to damn. I'm trying to survive in that motherfucker. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. I, I'm being. I'm being real honest. I'm being for real. Like that bitch too bright. Y'all know what we doing. Y'all know we ain't got no play play in us with none of that nonsense. Nah. If you. If you, you know, if you on a team, then you know what we got to do tomorrow. Y'all know what time and all that good shit. But I just want to make it real clear and real known that if you are a moderator, I'm letting it be known now. I don't like I don't know what's going on. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on, but I don't give a fuck. I don't care what the 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 machine is trying to do. That's not what we own. We not own no machine shit. If you really fuck with what we got going on, if you really rocking with us, then you should not be waiting on 
no motherfucking announcement. You should be checking in, trying to see what's going on. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe when you trying to do some some good shit, some positive shit in the world, maybe. Maybe you should be a person who can, um, you know, hide some shit or whatever. Oh, y'all couldn't even see it. Hold on. Maybe you should be the type of person. That bitch is wrong. Maybe you should be the type of person who can uh, now y'all can see him. This is what I was saying. I was saying this damn pocket got the purple thing, but I had a damn white shirt, and I think Brim took my shit to court and goddamn and burn that bitch or some shit. Because it's supposed to be a goddamn white shirt and a red tie. My whole shit was fucked up. Look at that shit. Nigga, that's Teflon, nigga. This goddamn, this fucking shit right here, 60 pound, nigga. That motherfucker, 60 pound. That bitch finna break that dummy down. Yeah, nigga, that shit real. But, um, nah, maybe, maybe, you know, when you're doing some positive shit, I appreciate that love. Uh, shout out, man. Shout out, Bianca. Always coming through, showing love. I'm about to, like I said, I'm about to definitely um, give everybody they, they flowers. Uh, shout out to that boy, Colorado Rick. Always coming through, showing love. Um, most definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we about to do that. We about to do it. Shout out to that boy, Colorado Rick. Always right there, rocking with us. Um, so if you are somebody who is, you know what I'm saying? If you Hollywood trained or some shit like that, then you can really get far in this positive world because you won't, you won't, um, you won't have to, you won't, I guess you won't get mad when, you know what I'm saying? A grassroots situation ain't as grassroots as you would want it to be. And, I, you know, maybe you should just focus on the positive more than the negative, but this is the same shit that I ran into with the Me and Two movement. Honestly, the, the, the problem is I don't want to give the machine the fuel that they need. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, you know, we, we fucking up the morale. Um, but my nigga, my nigga, if you if you over here in the comment section, especially if you a moderator, my nigga, there's no way in the fuck that you that you have not been over there to that goddamn. There's no way. There's no way in the fuck. There's no way possible. There's no way possible that you have not been to change.org, that you haven't found the link. Moderators, post the link. I don't, I'm, I, you know, you know, I'm not finna just let no motherfucker just goddamn come over here. Why is the damn laptop shining like that, my nigga? You know, I guess what I'm starting to realize, you know what that is? I know what that is. That's glare on the uh but maybe what I'm starting to realize is that motherfuckers just rather a nigga get on this bitch and just talk about nabs and shit. Maybe that's what that maybe that's just what a nigga, you know what I'm saying? A nigga just need to be happy with that. Motherfuckers want to hear you talk about nabs. You know? Say some shit about a, a, a rap nigga dying and just keep talking about it. It don't matter if you don't do nothing about it. Just keep talking about it. It's all good. 
We just want to feel good. We just want to feel like we are. Uh, we just want to feel like, you know, we we on the right side of the battlefield, even though we not on the battlefield. I'm not with that. I'm not with that. Before I started this situation, you know, the reason that I wanted to do it was because, man, there's so many people who feel the same way. We continuously are seeing this trend of niggas getting killed, young niggas getting killed, and it's being accepted, um, even celebrated. And they got it so twisted to where they don't even have to celebrate it in the open. They can just celebrate that shit by watching the Quando Rondo video, watching the Julio Fulio video, and watch niggas talk about how they hate niggas like the Klan. You don't even have to say it. You can allow motherfuckers to say this shit for you. And this is where we get to the Joe Rogan situation. But before we get there, I'm not going there until we handle this business. Like, big home, I, and I really want to, I want you to feel me. I want you to feel me. I want to make sure that I'm getting this through to you. My nigga, in order for me to do this, this channel and maybe all the channels, this, this channel, the AO Nation 10 Instagram, the AO Conseco Facebook, all of that shit is going to have to be shut down. I, and, you know, I, I hate to even be saying that out loud because, I, you know, I, me and Ro, we talk about behind the scene. But I need I really need niggas to feel me. So it's like this. Dog, if you fuck with me or anything that I ever did, Dog, please be honest right here. If you do not see yourself being able to, you know, like set up a goddamn underground railroad, come out to remotes when I'm at these hood gas stations with this motherfucking xylophone, you know what I'm saying, speakerphone. If you can't see yourself being at the gas station wearing a t-shirt, that's not fly. Please be home. Please. Just let that be known. Like, hey, man, you know, I would like, if you can't see yourself, hey, man, I'm going to go to the, the cash shop, go to the PayPal, I'm going to support what you got going on. Every moderator, every moderator, your job is to get 10 people to sign the petition. Until you have 10 people, you ain't, you're not done working. The same way you in the goddamn inbox of the goddamn IG model, good morning, beautiful. All that shit right there, be home. Put that shit towards something. I let niggas slide. Man, I ain't even gonna push the goddamn don't show your face campaign. Look, as long as we can goddamn put this shit on the right way for November, then you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta show your face. Let's just, you know what I'm saying? Let's do something. If you can't do that, big home, please just, you know what I'm saying? Please just back on out the live, you know what I'm saying, and just go somewhere because when i see people in the live i'm looking at it like yeah that, that's that's how many soldiers i got that's how many people really rocking with me and then i go outside and goddamn or i go to the motherfucking website i go to the motherfucking website and that bitch say 45 fucking people I go to the motherfucking website and that bitch say 45 people. I don't give a fuck what these people is doing. I don't give a fuck if they tapering the numbers down. We didn't see what they did on YouTube. You go on to YouTube right now, you'll start seeing a video with 6,000 views, 5,000 views. If I would have seen that, there's I would have done like these people is going back re retroactively and snatching shit. Be home. If you ever fucked with anything I ever did, please, though. If you're not with this type of shit, if you're not with actually doing something, please let it be known. Let it be known. Just let it be known. That's it. That's all. We actually trying to get something done. We actually trying to do something to stop the death. If you just a motherfucker who just want to 
run to the internet and watch to see who died, how they died, and shit like that. If that's what you want, the movement, and that's another thing. That's another thing. Dog, if you are on drugs, you are dealing with addiction, whether it be alcohol, weed, whatever the fuck it is. Be home, please. Please don't talk to me. This shit is dead serious. This is dead serious. There it is. There it is. There it is. This shit is dead serious, and y'all motherfuckers is getting drunk and getting high and getting the feeling of fucking, you know, whatever the fuck, and you come, man, I fucking support the long-ass message and all this other shit, bit home, please, please. I, like, right now, it's, I'm really putting a lot of energy towards this day in, day out. This is all I'm working towards to make sure this thing is successful. Please, man, if you could just respect that and say, you know what? Hey, man, I ain't going to be able to, you know what I'm saying? I, I I feel like it's really simple. All the fuck you have to do, get 10 people to sign it. You know, pass the word around. Stand on that shit. Put action behind your words. Not when fucking some goddamn white boy get caught saying nigga. How the fuck? What does that have? See this and this is see that's and I said I wasn't gonna do that. Let, let's let me let me get back to where we at. Man, shout out to that boy JP. JP coming through said, you know what it is. We here. Uh no negative news, November. Salute. Ayo. Hey, that's love be home. I appreciate that, JP. Real talk. I want to make sure that the people who need to be celebrated are celebrated. Man, shout out to, and that shit right there make me mad as fuck too. Man, shout out to that boy, uh, Renardo Burnett. Renardo Burnett coming through with that love, man. Shout out to Renardo Burnett coming through, man. Actually, let me go to the, and get a, yeah. Are you serious? Man, shout out to um Demille. Shout out to Demille Flanor. Demille Flanor. Shout out to Demille Flanor uh, with that love. Shout out to Travis Imes. Shout out to Travis Imes coming through showing support. Uh, shout out to Derrickston Williams. Derrickston Williams coming through showing good love. Uh, shout out to Big Chop. Big Chop came through with that love and support. I appreciate that, Big Home. Shout out to Jared Lockett. Jared Lockett came through. Uh, shout out to Trayvon Barnwell. Trayvon Barnwell came through. Maybe I should just say first names. Uh, shout out to Quinn. Shout out to Quinn came through. Quinn, shout out to Max. Maybe I should do last name. Which are, what? Uh, Shout out to Allen. Oh man, shout out to Keith, man. Shout out to goddamn uh uh Tybee Trolling. Shout out to Tybee Trolling. I know that name. Uh shout out to Cleophis. God damn, that nigga ain't gonna have no goddamn misunderstanding on his name being called. Shout out Cleophis. God damn it, that nigga got an old soul. See, that's why he he rock with this shit. This shit remind him of the goddamn Underground Railroad. We got a whole goddamn Free, free man on this motherfucker. Shout out to that boy Cleopas. Shout out to Houston Green coming through. Houston Green coming through showing that love. Shout out to Stephen King. Stephen King. I'm going to assume that is the author, Stephen King. Um, 
I should know who the fuck that is too. I see him so much. Sean Tavion. Sean Tavion. You know who you all be home. Uh, shout out to Desmond Bowen. Desmond Bowen coming through with that love. Shout out to Pedro. Pedro. Yeah, so he got the goddamn um he come from that uh Castro. He come from Castro bloodline. I'm telling you, we got freedom fighters on our side, my nigga. We got a free slave. We got one of the goddamn runaway Castro niggas on the line. John hate John. I'm gonna say John, you know your last name. It look it looked like you one of the folks that know how to uh hold that money real good. You know who you are. Shout out to Renardo. Renardo. Uh that nigga got one of them names that a nigga could be a goddamn. You don't know what that nigga is. That nigga might be a goddamn. That nigga, well, you, I hope you know how to speak Spanish, boy. You can trick them folk with that shit. Shout out to that boy, Tony Jones. Tony Jones coming through. And that he is Tony Jones. Brother, Never called at 281-330-80. That's crazy. I never called that shit, but I it, like he said that shit so much. Good boy. Shout out Mike Jones, brother. It might be Mike Jones. He just trying to keep it on the under. It's all good, be home. Fake name, good name, all good here. Man, we got so many people coming through on the cash app, man. Uh, shout out Anthony came through showing love, supporting what we doing. Uh, Anthony, I appreciate that. Shout out to that boy Trey Trey coming through, man. Trey Trey coming through, man. I got to hit Trey Trey with the big horn. Shout out that boy Trey Trey hitting the goddamn support, my nigga. Yeah, that's what the fuck we need to see right here tonight. Man, shout out to that nigga Andy. Andy, another big homie. Shout out that boy Andy. I see you. Well, let me stop that shit, man. Real talk, though. Because uh, it, ain't, it ain't really all about that. Where we at? Yeah, because it ain't really all about that. Um, what it's about is, is the support. And I really wanted to be able to come to speak to y'all about what the fuck is going on. At this time, right now, what we have is a... Um, a situation. And obviously, that number has just went up. I'm sure we had 100 by now. But... You know, I feel this, this. Here go the thing. I feel like I got so many real niggas who don't even know how to use the internet. I felt like maybe we need to go live, and maybe I need to talk to y'all directly and let y'all know what's going on. I feel like I have a heavy support team uh, behind me, but I have to also understand that because we're making this stand. This shit is not going to be put out to the people, to the public in that way, in that manner. So let me find, you know, at first this was, this was the, um, this was the thumbnail. I'm thinking that what we might have to do, um, and you know, you know, I got, like I said, my nigga, I, 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 I really feel blessed when I, you know, a real nigga comes along and we've had so many of them. Uh, Max, um, Grunt, um, Body. Um, and I think one of the latest real niggas to come across, uh, obviously shot that nigga, uh, Duquesne. Um, you know, that's Alabama all the way. But that nigga D Rose and everything happened for a reason. Everything happened for a reason. That nigga give me a lot of insight on this shit we doing right now i ain't gonna lie i'm not gonna lie like this shit is not no easy shit it's not no easy shit and but i just it's just hard for me my nigga it's just extremely hard for me to fucking keep talking about this shit dog like just to keep on talking about Niggas getting killed like that. That don't. But I'm. But here it is though. I'm watching. I'm dog. I got so fucking mad. I got so mad, my nigga. 
I got so fucking mad. Dog. When I seen these motherfuckers, when I seen these motherfuckers get up in an uproar, I'm talking about this goes across all platforms. Y'all know I look at serial killer platform. I look at boxing platform, UFC. Uh, I don't really do sports like that. It's really just combat sports. Um, but, uh, you know, military, uh, all channels, this is what everybody is talking about. And in my mind, it says, dog, that don't seem a little throw the fuck off to nobody that maybe that's what the fuck motherfuckers wanted. And then as somebody who was actually, uh, yeah, I'm not, I ain't going to go live today. I ain't finna, you know, I'm just going to keep on working, trying to get my shit together to make sure I got a clear line, make sure that the line is not fucked with trying to go through these goddamn names. To make sure, like, who is a real... That shit is bullshit, my nigga. That shit is bullshit, my nigga. And you did... You look up and you're like, nigga, when the fuck did I become a fucking activist? Nigga? Not no fucking activist? Fuck. I can't, I just, I can't keep talking about this shit, though. And I think maybe a mistake I might have made. And once again, you know, Katrina, um, the way that she backed out of social media and got a clear head and she don't mind doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? She don't mind doing that shit. And it gets you a, it really, I really understand how important that shit is. Like I said, I, I've, I've had to, at this point, I you know, actually hide my own myself at nighttime. Um, so, well, so if something happening, if something going on, I'm over this bitch putting in real pain, real anguish, time that I'm supposed to be doing other shit, I'm working to make sure that, you know, hey man, even though the system is working against us, hey man, hey look man, we got the no November, uh, no negative news November, man, I wonder if anybody will fuck with it, man, you know I put the petition out and I, the first night I put it out, man, I was so goddamn mad that I called the roll up, like, Man, these bitches think I'm a duck. These motherfuckers think I'm a duck. Oh, man. They think I'm a fucking duck. And a duck is a nigga that you can, you can hype him up and he'll just go do anything. Uh, good example, actually. Good example. If you go to D. Rose's channel, Supremely Black Podcast, you will see he did a video on C-Mac. And like I said, me and Ro, we talk behind the scene. That nigga, and he know a lot of shit. And I think that's why I, you know what I'm saying? It, it, when you come from the same, it, it'll be the same thing with somebody who, it, you know, has boxed in a gym before, who's been in the ring, somebody who's been in combat. You know what I'm saying? So when you come from the same place, it's just a, you understand things that don't have to be explained to where if I talk to someone from another culture, I would, and this is the reason why dating outside the race, it doesn't make sense because you would have to explain everything, even though as niggas, we love that shit. If you want to see how much niggas love to talk to new people, let somebody come around a group of niggas and ask them how to get to the nearest Walmart. Let me tell you how to get there, bro. Don't worry about what they saying, bro. Go on up here and take that left. When you can't see, they're going to try to take you to the light. I'm going to tell you, take that left. And then when you hook that bitch, man, look, man, come on over here, man. Niggas, the goddamn, start fighting each other, trying to don't tell a nigga how to get the fucking Walmart. So, and that's that's something. A nigga who is a nobody, that will be his highlight. I can finally get my word out, and that's what YouTube is for a lot of people. 
they find they can't get to the part where it's like, hey dog, um, or they they will never understand. So I came on YouTube. I didn't understand it. Katrina was like my guide. She walked me through the internet and everything like that. I was in disbelief. Come to tell it, everything she said came true. Uh, so as I came in, my viewpoints changed. So as soon as I saw with my own eyes that you can't just say the shit that you will say outside because it's niggas on this bitch that are using it for a different reason. And that's when the nab came in. It's like, and I, I don't see nothing wrong with that. So if I'm coming into something, I don't understand it. And it's not just about listening to whoever talk, but I'm hearing her talk and then I'm seeing what she's saying actually happening. I would be a bitch ass nigga to say, nah, fuck that. I'm just gonna nah, nah, fuck that. These niggas is not finna use my see, 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 he's from the street, he knows. Nah, hell, fuck no. Nah. Y'all niggas not finna use my motherfucking words and goddamn go fight your unholy battle against bitches that cheated on y'all. You weird ass niggas. But so I came in. I thought that I was talking to niggas uh, and found out I was talking to a lot of different people. And um, I don't I don't see how you can be a real nigga and not take that into account and say, I need to change up my methods a little bit because it bothers me that my words can be used in a way that's going to hurt people that I don't mean to fucking hurt. And that don't mean like you. No, nah, I'm saying. Really, it was that black woman shit. That shit really, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I really, I really don't like that. I really don't like that because them, I've never come in, them niggas would never be nowhere where I'm at. Never. They would never be there. So for them niggas to have such a presence online and to have so much nuts, I don't like them niggas, dog. I don't like them. Um, and, and, as I said, I, I'll never argue with a motherfucker. If y'all are on the team, then you you know you heard what we heard last night. Um, I told me home to goddamn go get on some rest. But if you talk to these niggas, then you will be able to see that you know niggas is just they just lonely. That's all. So they don't mean no harm. But over the internet, it's just so easy to get nuts that you don't have. Um. So. As I came in, I had a viewpoint of how the way shit was going. But it's just like with so the reason why you get charged differently for cocaine than you get charged with crack is because a process takes place. Even though the process is only one added, you know, ingredient, unless you add put the, the water with it, but one added ingredient and it turns into a whole nother charge. And niggas have, you know find ways to walk around that shit or whatever. But that's what this is. So you take a nigga that comes from the street and used to talking, you know, and niggas, lame niggas, do not talk. When we at the barbershop, you know, it's a nigga walk around that bitch loud talking and all that, whatever. And niggas who just coming in and get a haircut, they just come in and they might smile a little bit and whatever. But that's the most street time of their existence it, and they be trying to get the fuck out of that goddamn barber shop. Them motherfuckers be trying to find a way to go get a haircut at Sam and shit. Fantastics and whatever the fuck that shit is. Niggas don't, they don't want to be around that shit but the whole time come to find out it's been a fucking rat form of these motherfuckers on the internet to where they've tapped in to a particular person who degrades the person who did the wrong no different than the way Derek Jackson degrades the person that did the uh the nothing ass bitches wrong or a, a good bitch but she just can't get over the heartbreak or whatever so it's, it's the same it's nothing different about it that was my biggest shit that was my biggest shit I just I that shit made me mad because I know these niggas in real life they meek they silent, they they little nigga, they weak as fuck. But then you get online and you got all this goddamn malice about anything. My nigga, you don't have no say so in shit. 
you know, you the nigga who come to the goddamn jail and shit with all that motherfucking Anna in your chest and tell a nigga come through that bitch and hit your ass with that fucking plexiglass. And now it's goddamn you hitting the code and trying to fucking, you know what I'm saying? But like you niggas don't have no control nowhere, not at the house, not on the road, not at the job. So the only thing you can do is come in, lock it down. Y'all lock it down. I ain't gonna tell you twice. Lock it down. Take that, take that towel off that, take that towel off that light. Take that towel. I ain't gonna tell you again. Take that. So it's always been that. It's always been a war between them niggas and the real niggas. Them niggas is always the niggas who come home and catch a nigga piping a bitch down and nigga just fall to the ground and just immediately cry. Ain't no motherfucking, you know, or a nigga would just go all the way out and kill everybody. I think we just had a video of that where a nigga, um, didn't a nigga just do that? Like, he killed everybody or some shit? But whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas ain't never been nobody. That's why, like I said, the first thing you tell a nigga, like, no, you're not finna tell D-Rose, oh, not be home. Come on with that social media. Yeah, dude. I'll try as real, as body, just as in it, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, there it is. Because the nigga see that shit and the nigga gonna see some shit. And if you know something, you'll know something. Like, all right, that's the word. And a nigga need to have to do that because with all these fucking accounts and shit like that, you don't know who the fuck nobody is. Dog, if you on the team and last night you seen that nigga came into the motherfucking inbox with all that motherfucking disrespect. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, if you would have known him or shit like that and he just wrote all that shit out, you might have thought that that nigga was really, you know what I'm saying, like that. But you have to know this internet shit is where these motherfuckers thrive. They can't wait to get on this goddamn internet. They can't wait to do it. These niggas out to at the gas station, everywhere they go, they got their head down. They don't want to be seen. But these are the same bitch-ass niggas that will get psyched up by they fucking uh, no women allowed island, they'll let them motherfuckers hype them up to and dog, when I think about this shit uh, you know I remember I came uh, and I said if, she, if she's if she, these, these are the ways that you tell that she's a nail and I was giving all this shit to to be able to tell that she's a nothing ass bitch. And I said, you should be able to walk up to her and say, how much is it? How much is it for? Like, do you have any specials? And that shit was funny as fuck. It was funny. But to think about a lame nigga actually, uh, like a weird nigga actually walking up to a girl and saying some shit like that, that shit would be so fucking scary, I would imagine. You know, if I walk down, I'm going, it's going to be things that I'm going to do. I'm going to read her. I'm going to know, smile, no smile, how I need to. I showed y'all niggas, y'all niggas better pay attention. When I showed y'all niggas to walk down, that's on the Patreon. When I showed y'all niggas how to walk down and how you pose to hold your pants and shit like that. But if you niggas do that shit, you will look weird as fuck. I was talking about, there's really nothing y'all can do not to look weird for you. You, you. That like you really have to that shit, and it makes that shit make sense. Like that shit really does have to be in you. It's nothing I could tell you to go do that would make you not scare a bitch when you walk down on them, because you would be the motherfucker who just dry walk the fuck down on them without even giving that bitch. You supposed to let her know I'm finna, or if you were just finna pop down on her, you really supposed to be that. So it's like these bitches finna go. You know what I'm saying? They finna, like, really be jocking on some shit like, nah, bitch, I wanna... You know what I'm saying? But that's something that you really have to feel inside of you. And y'all niggas, a lot of y'all niggas is weird, man. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of y'all niggas is weird. Dog, I ain't gonna lie. When Katrina used to say that shit, I, I slick used to kind of get mad. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I used to slick kind of get mad because it was like she was saying that the niggas who follow me 
is like weird niggas and shit like that. But dog, when I started to goddamn man, I was so fucking embarrassed. I was so embarrassed, dog. I was so fucking embarrassed. Like, no, like, there's no way, there's no way that a weird nigga, a lame nigga would even like, them niggas don't like us. They don't like us. You know what I'm saying? Like, them niggas, why would they be listening to me? Like, they don't, but I'd be motherfucked. I be motherfucked, man. I don't, you know what it was? It was a goddamn, it was a fucking debate that uh, when I first brought Katrina in and everything, I wanted to get her, you know, on a, uh, get her viewpoints out there. So I, it was some nigga, some dude, and I had been talking to him, and that nigga was just totally, you know, uh, what is it, uh, open to everything I was saying. I didn't see no energy in him at all. Dog, I put them on the phone together, and it was like I had unleashed a beast. And it's like, and I had to, you know, fuck whatever happened because at the end of the day, it's like, dog, is that what I put off? Is that what I put off to you? That it's just like it's it's fuck a bitch, and it's like, so yeah, we have to go back, back, back. No, no. You don't have a problem with females. How in the fuck does that make sense? Why in the fuck would you be mad? I don't, dog. Man, if I tell you the fuck, dog, it don't matter. What the fuck? Why in the fuck would you be mad at the female race? And so at that point, it was important that it was a clear distinction. Now, not only is there no alliance and niggas is cool, niggas from that side could come over here and get on the channel and we can talk. My nigga, it's fuck them niggas on everything. And them bitch ass niggas better, I'm to my real talk because that shit is weird as fuck to me. And then as I later on, as I go look down into the, the serial killer shit, it's the same shit. How in the fuck? I don't give a fuck what I say about a bitch, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I don't, without, without bitches want me, I can't be this person. The only reason why I can continue to stay celibate is because there's never a stall in bitches trying to get over here. I've done all that. You know, I've done, I've done everything I've said I've done. So, you know what I'm saying? I know when I got a bitch to where I can fuck her, so I can just take that fucking part out. And it's like, yeah, let's just get past that because I know what's going to happen. But well, fuck you. And then you're going to be around this bitch trying to crawl in the house and crawl through the windows and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got something going. I can't let a bitch just destroy all this shit. So it don't matter what the fuck a nigga say. Like, I'm not saying be celibate and you are a virgin. My nigga, if you a virgin, disregard everything the fuck I said. Nigga. You need to know what you're you're supposed to be. The three S's is about fighting a temptation. There's no way you can fight a temptation of, of, of so for you to be in isolation, you're supposed to be a motherfucker who, man, you know, every time you go out, man, motherfucker, you're fucking with you, you know what I'm saying? It, it's love when you go outside. In order to be sober, you fighting, you know getting high and shit like that. You have to know how turnt you get when you, you know what I'm saying? And as far as, you know, celibacy, like you have to, celibacy. <laughs> as far as not fucking and shit, like that shit has to be on the, you have to be like fighting that shit off. Like, bitch, get off me. You know, you're supposed to be fighting that shit. So you're supposed to go through temptations. Bitches trying to, they best to get to you. And you fight it off like, no, nah, I'm going to choose to do this. If you don't have any of those temptations, my nigga, you're just fucking weird. And I'm not, like I said, dog, this three, I came on here thinking I was talking to niggas like me. Because why would a nigga who's not like me want to watch me? And as I said, it's all good if you're different. But my nigga, that, that woman hate thing, I can't, I can't, I can't. My nigga, after that day, 
I think he was confused because he was on the phone talking to him. I'm like, oh, whoa, big home. What, what are you? And he was like, what the fuck? I think he was like, what the fuck? You're on her side? Like, what? My nigga, we talking about some shit that don't have nothing to do. Like, what the fuck? Man. And so he said some disrespect shit, whatever the fuck. But um, that was when I first saw it in, in real life. And it's like, man. And so it was time. But I'm saying that to say it's, it's, a, it's a lot of different shit on the internet. Um, back to what I was saying, um, for some reason with us, man, some reason with us, we want to hop on the most counterproductive arguments that there are. I woke up to this. I woke up after, I'm talking about, I don't know what time I went to sleep last night, but I woke up to Joe Rogan being the talk of the town because he said, nigga, and you got people from every coast ah, and all this fucking bullshit and Spotify, they did exactly what they were supposed to do. We're not standing for this type of racism. What type of racism is you talking about? Open racism? You know, with me, big home, whenever, after that Joe Biden situation, I don't know what, what this nigga called black folks as long as that bitch will pay me fair. I don't need you to put no goddamn black person on the money. Just give me the fucking money, bitch. Give me the goddamn money. Give a fuck about that goddamn shit. It's retarded, dog. Yeah, man. How the fuck? So you, you a motherfucker? You don't even have Spotify on your phone. You don't watch no fucking Spotify. You on YouTube all day. You don't fuck with Spotify. You don't fuck with Joe Rogan. Why in the fuck is this important to you? It's because. Oh, man, shout out to that boy, Derek. I appreciate that. Man, you see that nigga, goddamn. You know we weren't finna do no goddamn show without Oak coming in this bitch showing love, nigga. I gotta say, my nigga, I, I can speak heavy like this because I know. Okay, okay, Derek, so I see you say all love. He signed. That's love, big home. Oak came through, said ties. Ties, you know, man, shit. I do ties, but I ain't putting on that goddamn suit no more. We'll do church, but I ain't doing that no more. Hell no. I'm gonna be the goddamn gangster preacher. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that shit no more. Nigga, was you in here? Oh, was you was you in here when I had this bitch on? Was you in here when I had this motherfucker on? Nigga, I almost died in this bitch. Nigga, this, this, that, and see that's why the fuck you can't share no goddamn closet um with no nigga like Brim. This nigga then goddamn went and bulletproof the goddamn the damn church suit. I'm trying to come to this bitch on some political shit. Nigga, I almost died this bitch. This nigga done put Teflon all through this bitch. God damn. I'm surprised that bitch is purple. I'm surprised that nigga ain't put no rag in that bitch. Hell yeah, nigga. I almost ain't making out the first three minutes of the show. Nigga. I had to play 20 songs just to get this bitch on. Real talk. Hell yeah, that's Teflon, nigga. That nigga put goddamn this motherfucker. Look at it. Look at how this motherfucker finna goddamn. I ain't got it on nothing but a damn piece of wood. That motherfucker finna break down all the way. Hell yeah, I'm not doing no goddamn. I'm, I'm the gangster preacher, nigga. I'm not doing no motherfucking. 
not doing no motherfucking shit like that. Nigga, I'm not, I'm not a uh, driver. What that nigga name? Uh, uh, Jason Straten. What was the movie called? The movie with Jason Straten. The movie where he was driving and shit. He was killing folks and driving. Did they stop the shit? What's going on? They must have. Hell yeah, nigga. I didn't, I'm still trying to goddamn cool off. That bitch that got me so wet, I didn't count pneumonia in this bitch. My nose running and everything. Jason Stratton, the transporter. I'm not the transporter, nigga. I don't need all this goddamn sophisticated ass shit. I don't need all that shit, nigga. But no, nah. yeah, the transporter. Why is that shit so slow like that? But anyway, man, uh, shout out to that nigga. Oh, shout out to everybody who supported the show. Love. I'm sure that a lot of people have went over there too. Um, the um, the petition that we have on change.org if you need the um, link to it the moderators are posting it if you're watching this on the replay um, all you have to do is hit live chat or you know I'm sure Grump is going to put that at the top um, of the uh, comments or I'll do it because uh, I know he has uh, yeah man shout out to that nigga Grump also shout out to Grump uh, Grump been doing his thing over there um I, I love to see that growth he got because he really is building his own community over there. I love to see that. Um, it's not about, you know, I remember the first time that uh, somebody went to Brim D channel and they didn't know who I was. And that right there, that's, that's, that's the money right there. Because of the only way that shout out to that nigga uh Bag Rich School Up just got posted on Say Cheese. I'm really hoping that Say Cheese um will participate um in the No Negative News November. Uh people like that, I you know, that's gonna be big. Um I know that people have um a lot of money tied up, a lot of money tied up in um in hip hop news, and there is no question about it. Negative news sells better than positive news. That's what that is. But at some point, we got to keep it real. We got to keep it real. So, DJ Academics, Say Cheese, Futures TV, I want to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, and I'm hoping that they will participate. Uh, we will definitely be in contact with them beforehand. You know, just trying to explain exactly what we're doing and, and explain it in a way to where it's not. I don't want it. That, that's the whole thing. I don't want to. I don't want to come off on no fuck. Now you better do it. Fuck me. I swear to God. Nah, it's on some shit like my nigga. Can we just do one thing? Just one thing, my nigga. Like, it, I think it's it's pretty easy for anybody to see. A motherfucker will be hard pressed. Uh, I, I'll even say this. I'm open to a, you know, a short debate with anybody. Um, of, of that stature to explain to them exactly what we're doing. Um, I wouldn't want to do it live because I noticed that people talk differently when it's in front of a crowd. I would like to do it behind the scenes um, and just explain to them exactly why um, us not posting anything negative for a month. Like, if it don't work, it don't work. Nigga, get back to doing what you do. Uh, but if we can actually, you know, show that you going out there and smacking a rapper, you going out there, you know what I'm saying, killing niggas and shit like that, that's not going to help your rap career. The way it is, that's exactly what's happening now. Um, rap beef, sorry, beef rapping, um, op rapping, whatever, death rap, whatever, that's actually a fucking genre now. Um, some fuck nigga, uh, some bitch ass nigga uh, that posts I'm sorry, I, I can't really respect them because them, them hidden hand white boys, Trap, Laura, Ross, anybody who posts all of the information for police officers to, to be able to get, I can't respect them. Um, if I can see your face, I can I can show you some respect. But you posting a whole fucking documentary on 
the war in Jacksonville and shit like that. And then you commenting as if you understand what niggas is doing out there. You don't understand that shit, nigga. You've never had a violent death. The closest you came to anything like that was probably a, 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 a vehicular homicide, manslaughter. Nobody probably got no jail time on that. How dare you motherfuckers feel like y'all can speak on this shit and make money off of it? I would like that. I would really, I would really like that. I would really like for just all the all the you know the black platforms for us not to look at each other. No black rappers. All black rappers, we're gonna stand the line and we just gonna look at everybody white. Fuck this Joe Rogan bullshit, my nigga. Give a fuck about no goddamn country bumpkin ass white boy. Fuck. Doc, where do these niggas live at, be home? Where's y'all niggas from? Doc, on some real shit. Y'all niggas, they say that it's places. My nigga Oates was just on the phone with me. Them fucking white folks up north and all them places, these motherfuckers more racist than anybody. Y'all motherfucker got mayors and fuck mayors. Y'all niggas got motherfuckers at your job that is a card carrying fucking racist. Dog, for you niggas who work at the goddamn jails and the prisons, you not you better not say shit about no Joe Rogan. You better not say nothing about no Joe Rogan. Your supervisor, the warden, the whole fucking jail is rent. Dog, you didn't see any white boys let white boys out uncuffed with a whole fucking busload of niggas cuffed to a goddamn table. That motherfucker just go around hitting niggas. Y'all, y'all come off the street with these motherfucking Bowie knives and all this other shit. How the fuck you got a knife like that in the jail? This bitch got a whole tip on it. That bitch come around like goddamn sling blade. This bitch and that motherfucker swinging a hockey stick. Cut niggas' heads off. You just had a murder up there at that prison and you on this motherfucking uh, internet talking about Joe Rogan said, are you serious, nigga? Dog, it, it, just, it, it, just, it just shows so much inferiority to me that we give a fuck that a goddamn white boy say, nigga, are you serious? That stops the whole world, stop the whole internet. We need to see about Joe. Are you fucking serious? And nigga around this bitch day in, day out, trying to make sure these bitches ain't coming down. I didn't put the fucking camera on that bitch and put Luke up front and all kind of shit. Motherfucker taking views from my shit and, and not posting my shit and all this shit. You talking about a fucking white boy said nigga. Man. I'm telling you, dog, these niggas, dog, they, they really, these motherfuckers really pick their battles on some shit. You pick the battle that you can't get nothing tangible out of. What fucking tangible? Shout out to Treat and Sheep. Like I said, we need to, any issue that we have as black men against each other, it's time to turn. <clears throat> it's, time, it's time to turn, my nigga. It's time to make that turn. I right, we understand. Dog, um, uh, D Rose uh, had an episode the other day where he was talking about um, Dirk. He was talking about Dirk. Dirk had um, Dirk did something. Uh, let me see. Let me play it. Dirk said something about he he did something with a white boy. Yeah, Dirk different. And I've bumped his music before, but it's like you're not you're able to say okay, I'm not beefing with X Y and Z. But then you come out and you beef and you dropping. You know, you smoking this pack. You smoking this pack. You pushing that. But you're able to side with a white boy at a Martin Luther King fest. Like I, I don't, I don't get it. Like does Def Jam not have enough influence on you to denounce it in the hood? Like does Def Jam have more power now than O Block D? Ooh boy, hey look, hold on, hold on. We get back that D Rose in a minute. I got, I got, I got, I got to shout this out. See that nigga Ty be trolling. That's what I like. See, that's what I like. Look, look how Ty checked that nigga. 
Ty asked that nigga, who is everybody? Real shit. Real shit. Like, my nigga, who the fuck is you talking to? We don't do that subliminal shit, my nigga. Speak on what the fuck you saying. Ty caught that nigga ass. Turn up, Ty. That dirt different. And I've bumped his music before. But it's like, you're not, you're able to say, okay, I'm not beefing with X, Y, and Z, but then you come out and you beef and you dropping, you know, you smoking this pack, you smoking this pack, you pushing that, but you're able to side with a white boy at a Martin Luther King fest. Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like, does Def Jam not have enough influence on you to denounce it in the hood? Like, does Def Jam have more power now than O Block did to you? If you ask me, yeah. Uh, whatever the label says, it seems like at this particular point, you have to do. Like, have they just stripped you of your power? Are you just dirt and somebody that's pushing our face that, or the young generation's face, and for the uh, older cats that, you know, maybe still idolizing uh, entertainers, you know, teach his own on that. But it's like, damn, bro, you couldn't really do Hold on, you know, we got to goddamn do it. Oh, not T. Right, real talk, be home. Real talk. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, real talk, I'm going to do it like this here. Dog, if you tell me your social media, dog, I'll bring you on the show. I'll let you talk how you want to talk, handle business. Just come on with it. Do not block him. Dog, come with the social media, and I will bring you up so you can speak to the people and really speak your piece. I'm going to give you at least. 120 seconds to speak plainly. Anything you want to say, just come on with that social media. Just any social media. I got to do it. Because this, this is the whole point of this shit. The niggas who talk like that, that's what it be. Like, we have to, we have to call this out because because, <laughs> because, because, uh, yeah, if you if you ain't with the Supremely Black Podcast and subscribe, I don't know what the fuck you got going on. That's mandatory. Um, these niggas, they like you not finna do shit. You not you are an internet person. You probably on your break or you on this bitch looking over your shoulder. Trying to make sure the boss man don't come around and goddamn, you know what I'm saying, see you on the phone and shit. You on this bitch talking about fucking black liberation. Nigga, you won't you won't fucking speak over a whisper at that fucking job. Come on with the social media, bit home. Show us how to be goddamn active. Everybody online is activists and shit like that. What are you doing for the people? I'm not finna goddamn. My nigga, when the fuck did you get here? Uh, come on, man, huh? You better, you better, goddamn, check the motherfucking resume. Of course, of course, of course, you want. Of course, you want, cause that's them niggas. That's them niggas. They not here to do shit, but disrupt shit. That's it. That's all. What are you doing for the people, my nigga? I'm giving you a chance to get on the platform and speak. You saying you don't know your social media or do you know it and you know that if you see that shit, you don't know exactly what's going on. No, we cannot be fucking, we cannot be, don't, do not. Now, I'm not going to tell you to go in people's comment section and say, you know, everybody in that comment section is wrong. But if there is somebody that is speaking, give a fuck who it is. If there's somebody that's speaking, and you believe in what they speaking about, and they put action behind what they doing. Support that person to the maximum. Don't be like that nigga right there. Don't just come in and say some shit. Actually do something. I don't give a fuck if you putting 60 cent on a PayPal, 10 cent on a cash app, and you tell them, hey man, what can I do to help? I'm here. And let a nigga give you a workload. Hey man, look, I, I really could use you, man, if you could, uh, just go in everybody's inbox and ask them, you know, ask them in a real way. Don't, I don't want you to send out no generic message. Hey, would you like to support? Nah, fuck that. You need to goddamn really like have a conversation and shit. And 
actually don't even go and post them about go to people you know if you really believe in this shit go to people you know we not asking for no fucking money we asking for motherfuckers hey man I, we this shit is all the way on the goddamn last fucking you know what i'm saying this shit all the way down the line it's gonna be cold again when goddamn this shit go into action we just asking that man maybe you can save up a little money look at this bitch ass nigga this nigga ain't came back since do not take these people serious don't let them get you into a way of thinking they're not real if you saw them, they know this for a fact. If you saw them, you wouldn't take anything they said serious. Anything. This nigga had a fucking profile pitch up. So we know this nigga was trying to trick somebody. Dog, this internet is a very weird fucking place. But when we do connect with real people, Dog, don't be no internet person. And as I said in the beginning, if you are an internet person, please be home. Do it silently. Just, you know, I'm going to go on head out. And just, you know what I'm saying? Don't have my head thank you, man. I got a million nigga ready to step for nigga. And I go out that bitch and I'm like this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Singing guy. <laughs> I'm out this bitch singing Negro spirituals by myself. Don't do it like that, be home. If you fuck with me, if you fuck with anything that I've ever done, my nigga, like we actually, I'm not playing. Like. In 10 days, I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying, out of state. And if you, like I said, if you're on the team, then you will know. Uh, you know what to do, what we're doing tomorrow. Um, I'll be out of state. This like, the, the game shit is over. It, that shit is done. And I ain't going to say that. Uh, but, yeah, so that's all I'm asking. If you, if you fuck with me and you know that you're not about this shit, you're not. You don't have nothing to give. You know that if you come my inbox and I give you a workload, you're not going to be able to do it because you're going through withdrawals or you, you know what I'm saying, you you having whatever issues you having, please just stay stay back. If you're not ready to work, this ain't no time to talk. This ain't no time to talk. If, you, if all you can do is donate, put some uh, money in the pot for gas, food, goddamn hotel and all that shit like that, do the thing. Handle the business. Do what you can. But all of this goddamn fake outrage and, oh, what the fuck are you doing for the community? I know that shit real. Ain't nobody blocked that nigga. That nigga ain't come back. There he is. This nigga that went him. Hold on. There it is. There it is. And there it is. There it is. There go the line of goddamn. So you don't even have no way of communicating with anybody. You don't have no way of getting anybody together or don't block them. and none of that shit you don't have no way for none and I'm, and I'm you come in my comment section and you question me but I'm just posing yeah look yeah fuck man hey look at my profile that's me all day man shit yeah 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 look at it yeah that's me man yeah shit yeah man I fucking you know hey I, I was one of the guys who uh did you hear about uh Rodney King I was actually the passenger in the car you know, I couldn't actually do anything, but uh, I, 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 I man, you know what? If I would have had a phone, I would have recorded the shit out of that and made sure. Come on, be home. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, be home. Because y'all be them niggas. Y'all be them niggas who really dissipate the energy. If you see that we in here and we talking about actually moving on shit. Dog, don't don't come in here with that dumb ass shit because you sound like the goddamn folk. You sound like the folks to me. We in this bitch talking about real movement. And you come in this bitch talking, what the fuck? You, you're coming in here with that shit because you want to help motherfuckers? Dog, be for real, just in real life. When I go to the gas station 
and it just be me or, or you know, whatever the fuck. I'm out there talking and talking to the community. You saying that you're going you gonna to come up to me in real life and you're going to say that to me? Just answer that answer that question for real and, and everything is cool. You know? Everything. And what the fuck did he put up there? What what was that? What was that? He said, Ty, what the fuck did he put up there? He put something up there that said like Ty 9 oh, What the fuck was that? Was that an email? Dog, you know what that looked like on some real shit. I'm not laughing. <laughs> on some real shit. Dog, that shit you put in there, that looked like the shit that they be having on the email. When they showing on the catcher predator, when they showing his email and the girl email, that's what the fuck they look like. Let me find that goddamn shit. Nah, my nigga, I seen what the hell you put up there, nigga. Trying to get away with that shit. I'm finna see this shit. Don't touch nothing either. Don't touch a damn thing. Sit down and be quiet. Sit down and be quiet. Don't touch nothing. What is oh there it is. There it is. I found it. Yeah, nigga, I found that shit. All right. You, you, you. you wanna say something to the people? Oh. Say something to them, people. Hey, bro. Yeah, nigga, I seen that shit on goddamn me. I, I, I bet y'all can go on goddamn to catch the credit and find out exactly what episode you was on, nigga. Yeah, hey, nigga, I seen that shit, nigga. Yeah, ain't that? Yeah, Tyree. Yeah, yeah. That okay? I remember. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yo, goddamn. Uh, weird ass out of here, nigga. No disrespect. No disrespect. I'm, I'm going to say it like this. No disrespect. But if you ain't had if you ain't had three sexual partners at home, just, just fall back. Just fall back because you're not thinking straight. Like, you're not thinking straight. I don't know what the fuck you do to goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you want. If you got something that you don't want folks to find out, Fall the fuck back, my nigga. That's the problem we have. Niggas know that they be having this weird shit in their closet, and they still step up, and they end up doing more harm to the movement than good. We not we not ashamed of you know going to jail or none of that shit, or whatever whatever you might find. Like I said, I ain't even gonna go on that game shit. If y'all wanna hear about that, go on D Road because that nigga he spoke some heavy man. You know, and uh, I think Brim, I think Brim gonna speak on that too. Though. I think Brim gonna speak on that. I think Brim gonna speak on that uh, on that DP on that DP because I, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna lead nobody in no direction and make them feel like you know this how you pose to think about it. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let I'm gonna let be home and, uh what is that? Uh, what fuck is that? Why is it kind of I 
I can't be able to pick that bitch up. That motherfucker so heavy. Oh uh, man, shout out to that boy. Um, man, young, young note. You know. Okay, all right, I got you. I appreciate that love, man. Man, shout out to that nigga Big Mix came through this bitch with that goddamn shit, man. Fuck these niggas talking about, man. Shout out that nigga Big Mix, my nigga. I know I got steps behind me, man. The real talk, this internet shit will really have you throw it off. And I, like I said, I imagine, and like I said, I'm blessed to have people, smarter people, like D Rose around that could, you know what I'm saying, help a nigga do a lot of shit. So, um, shout out to him. Um, and I, like I said, I just feel like we just need to talk. Everybody need to talk. If, if anybody thought that this wasn't real, um, and this some play play shit, um, oh, that nigga Big Mix said, uh, love your views and street life. We deserve better. Real talk. Oh, we... Oh, well, you came through, said ties. Shout out to that nigga El Damo Chapo. I think that was that. I think that's that fucking uh, Castro runaway we had. Shout out to Big Home on that. Uh, oh, Renardo. That, that's the other guy. But we we deep with the goddamn. Look, y'all remember the nigga last night? He was talking to people across the border. Nah, this is what it really looked like when you got them folk across the border for real. Man, shout out to Renato. Shout out to Showboat. Showboat said, uh, oh, okay. I I, I should have known that. I don't know. I don't know why I know that showboat. That low, that low. But like I said, yeah, nigga, your shit's still up there, nigga. We we I want all parents. You go on your goddamn child phone, especially if you got a little girl. But I think the episode he was on, I'm pretty sure. That was the nigga that came on after that goddamn uh that damn old that old preacher man so i don't know who this nigga was was trying to goddamn uh predator on who who he was trying to prey on but y'all motherfucker go check your child phone that nigga he with that shit on the internet because of ao this reason uh i'm trying to see him oh that uh ty hey look Tyrese, look here. We're going to do it like Big Home. Send me a request. Send me a request right fast. I'm going to bring you on screen, my nigga. We're going we gonna to go on end it like that. Send a request, and I'm going to go and put you on screen. Let's go and handle it, Ty. Let's go and get it real, Big Home. Let, let's handle it. Let's Come on, hold on, let me see. I'm trying to see his shit. I can't see that shit. It's not showing me his damn account. That nigga finna shut everything down. I know that nigga. He one of them niggas that got one of them goddamn buttons that just rain acid from the ceiling and everything just get burned. Let me find this nigga ass. I'm finna send the goddamn marshals to your shit, nigga. They find your goddamn dark web ass. Come around here with that bullshit, nigga. Yes, yes, yes. No drugs. I, I don't know. Nah, real talk. I don't care if he, if he on the uh, you know them niggas, them type of niggas don't do drugs. They be totally sober and just hate fucking. They hate women, and this is why it's so dangerous to be playing out here because these niggas will be on these apps. No, Katrina sent me a goddamn. Katrina sent me the, the second part of this bitch. You know the bitch that was doing that fucking, that damn uh, prostitution dance with all them damn old white men. That bitch did another one. Watch this. Hear ye, hear ye, ladies. If you want a man like this, with pockets like this, then listen carefully. First things first, you must be 18 years or older. I'm gonna need you to open up your Tinder app, go to settings, scroll all the way down to age preference, and put that bit up to 30 and over. Actually, 40 and over. Actually, 50 and over. <laughs> Next, start scrolling and come back here for part two. 
What if, what if, I want to see the prostitution then. This guy faked Down syndrome so nurses would bathe him and change his diapers. At least four nurses claimed that Paul Anthony Menchaca would pretend to be his mother and hire them to perform these tasks. And they never met the mother because they just get paid through their phones. This whole scheme unravels when one of the nurses notices that he seems to be enjoying the baths and the diaper changes a little too much. So she follows him home from a restaurant, knocks on his door, and encounters his parents, who confirm that he does not have Down syndrome and he does not use diapers. After being arrested for this, Paul defended himself by claiming that his parents have documentation proving that his IQ is low. Believe it or not, not the only guy to try this. You got this other guy, Rutledge Diaz, who was arrested multiple times for doing this. Although he didn't go all the way for Down syndrome, he just said he was handicapped. Hold on, that's his shit. I just showed y'all, he, he was on the commercial. This guy faked Down syndrome so nurses would bathe him and change his diapers. At least four nurses claimed that Paul Anthony Menchaca would pretend to be his mother and hire them to perform these tasks. And they never met the mother because they just get paid through their phones. This whole scheme unravels when one of the nurses notices that he seems to be enjoying the baths and the diaper changes a little too much. So she follows him home from a restaurant, knocks on his door, and encounters his parents, who confirm that he does not have Down syndrome and he does not use diapers. After being arrested for this, Paul defended himself by claiming that his parents have documentation proving that his IQ is low. Believe it or not, not the only guy to try this. You got this other guy, Rutledge Diaz, who was arrested multiple times for doing this. Although he didn't go all the way. Y'all heard what that motherfucker just said! What that nigga name is? Nigga, you was just on the commercial, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? Man, this nigga goddamn with that motherfucking shit, dog. Man, real talk, man. With that retarded ass shit, nigga. I, I know that I know that nigga from somewhere. I'm like, man, that nigga there. I know that nigga from somewhere, my nigga. I know that nigga. Hey, dude. I told you, man, go sit down at home. Yeah, nigga. I knew I knew that nigga had from so like, man, that nigga ass. You fucked up when you sit them numbers, my nigga. I said, man, hold on, man. Katrina just sent me some on this goddamn man, dog. Yo, goddamn ass out of here, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Motherfucking ass out of here with that goddamn bathing and shit, acting retarded, nigga. Yo, goddamn ass out of here trying to get in black conversation. Them niggas, them internet niggas always leave a damn trail. Always leave a trail. Yo, diaper wearing ass nigga. These niggas, not only do they gotta pay a bitch to goddamn touch them, these niggas gotta act like children. God damn. Nigga, get your motherfucking ass out my goddamn comments and go out there and get you some up. I, I don't even wanna tell you to do that, because your ass will probably. I'll tell you to go get some hoes and you will really go kidnap me. Just, just stay at the house. Just stay at the house there, home. Just, just hold it down, my nigga. Hit me up. We'll do a consultation. No, yay. No, yay. I ain't even going to. I'm not going to. You know, my name is everything. I'm not going to play with you, my nigga. I'm just going to laugh at you. I'm going to laugh at you. Because I'm going to be one. I, I want to know, my nigga. So, like, with, like, what age did you think of that shit? Like, Fuck this shit. I'm not finna keep trying to get these hoes to the house. Fuck this. I'm just finna go. And that, and that be the problem with y'all motherfuckers. Y'all be having too much money and no more, like, nothing else. And that be why they be rich as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Doing that evil shit. Yeah, nigga, don't, don't hit me up, bitch, huh? Get your ass out my goddamn. Get your ass. Say it wrong. I said, get your ass out of here for that goddamn send the moss to my goddamn house, man. Get your goddamn ass out of here, man. We don't want none of that shit in here, man. Get your ass out of 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 here, man. This nigga that been on more goddamn reality TV shows than a little bit. Come here, dude. Goddamn ass out of here. Nah, don't pay for that nigga consultation, man. I, I don't want that nigga to say nothing, man. I'll talk to hey, yo for I did. You know, we just had a situation. They just had that. Somebody just sent me a video of a nigga in the house doing another goddamn. 
live before I guess he kill himself or get killed by the police and shit. I don't watch that shit. I don't don't send me no shit. I don't give a fuck about that. We not on that. We on some we on some other shit. We on some other shit. I, that that like I said, dog, a lot of this shit I be feeling like it's distraction from what we really need to be doing. I really feel like this rap shit is a very vital organ in the system, you know what I'm saying, body. Um I feel like if we cut that shit, like we can bleed this motherfucker out. So, yeah, when I start seeing dumbass shit like th these hot, hot takes and all this shit, who the fuck give a fuck about Joe Rogan saying, "Are you serious?" And even dog, I don't. So first off, first off, dog, how long ago was it that we established that all white people are racist? I'm trying to see my. So you're saying that. Because you can't hear a motherfucker talk, they're not racist. What the fuck? Are we, we, are we exposing them? Ooh, we got another one. See, Joe Buddy, he, he, he did a racist. My nigga, what white person is, is going, you going to hear them say some derogatory towards black people, you're going to be like, damn, I didn't think he was racist. So what the fuck is the point? The fuck is the point of jumping up and down when another white person, my nigga, do you watch his show? Do you give a fuck? Secondly, do you have any racist person that lives close to you? Tell me what you did to them. You won't even go online and say shit about them because your kid probably go to their goddamn school. Man, miss me with that retarded ass shit, my nigga. Miss me with that retarded ass shit. You not you want to you talking about that because you don't have to do shit about Joe Rogan. You can just get online and say, "Oh, that nigga, bro. I knew that nigga had was racist, man. I swear to God, that nigga. what the fuck is that gonna do? What is that gonna do? And but you choose that. You choose those causes that you don't have to do shit but be an internet nigga. But here it is. We over here on Change.org, really putting an operation together. And you, ah, uh, man, what I got, man, I got to share that shit. Man, bro, you ain't got no way you can just goddamn just teleport that shit to me in my mind, bro, just so I didn't know. That, man, it's just, it just a lot of shit to read, bro. I'm just trying to see. Uh, but you ain't got no motherfucking, uh, you ain't got no telepathy on that motherfucker, bro. You ain't got no way we can just instantly, hey, deuce, I'm telling you, dog, stop fucking playing, dog. Hey, my nigga, you ain't got no way we can just know that shit off the energy, but you want me to share that motherfucker? God damn, bro. You trying to share some shit? God damn, nigga. I thought you were going to do it the real way. Damn, my nigga. You want me to goddamn read and share. Man, I don't know about that, bro. I bet you don't. I bet you don't know about that. Nigga want you just to do, I'm trying to do everything for him when it comes to something that can actually do something. But when it comes to goddamn Joe Rogan, this nigga on this bitch like a real motherfucking. I want to tell the world and I just want, I just want to know why the, are you writing a whole dissertation? These motherfuckers will write a whole dissertation about somebody that it, that, I'm talking, that shit means nothing. Dog, did you fucking fart in here, dog? Come on, dude, dog. Come on, man. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do shit, man. What are you doing? Man, man. Damn, do I got the air freshener on, nigga? How the fuck did you just, you did fart? Man, look, man. I appreciate everybody coming out, man. Hey, man. It's love. It's love, God damn that. That fuck everything.
day Seems like I push against the clouds They just keep locking 